Unemployment is a major challenge that affects youth across Kenya. Approximately 800,000 young Kenyans enter the labor market every year, and youth unemployment is estimated to be as high as 35%, compared to the overall national unemployment rate of 10%. More than a third of Kenya's youth eligible for work have no jobs in a business environment and the government is struggling to tackle the country's acute unemployment problem. Kenya's national youth policy emphasizes the potential of the agriculture sector as a source of employment. The daily subsector, while not mentioned, is a current source of employment and as such, better understanding of how young women and men engage in the sector and how the sector can support employment is needed. At the International Livestock Research Institute campus in Nairobi, a study was started to understand current and emerging ways that the youth participate in the dairy subsector. This study's objective was to understand how location, living in a rural or peri-urban location, and social norms influence a young woman or man's potential in daily value chains. The study took place in rural sub-counties in Nakuru County and peri-urban sub-counties in Kiambu County. One of the goals of Ildri's project was to create a space for the youth to voice their insights and concerns in their own words, which they did at a peer-to-peer -peer exchange workshop. I'm a graduate. I've been looking for a job for almost 10 years. Unfortunately, there is no job. So I decided to get in dairy farming due to unemployment that has rise. So after, getting, after starting the dairy farming, I've seen more of success in dairy farming. It's more profitable and uh, it's more Involving, involving, especially in youths. I, I ventured into this dairy farming in 2012 after I finished high school. I lost my mother in 2009 and I lost my father in, uh, while I was in I two, I was two years. So I finished high school and then I saw the opportunity in dairy, in this dairy, dairy sector. I plant in, uh, a lot in pasture. I have all the knowledge in that. I, I do uh, record keeping. I do the hygiene of the cow, the nutrition, the all, all around the nutrition. That's why I, every year I do, I have a heifer. Then uh, I've reduced the, the inter, inter calvin because, uh, I, 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 because of those records. Eh? So I have a pedigree now. Yeah, I see this is a, a good idea. The study also established that young women and men in rural and peri-urban locations participate differently in dairy value chains, often because of cultural norms. Although young women in peri-urban locations earn income and manage dairy enterprises, young rural women are often prohibited from independently managing dairy enterprises. Kitambo, hapo kitambo, kuku ana knowledge yote and as misunderstanding unasema hiyo ni kazi ya ya wase lakini in nowadays hakuna kama ikikuja ni construction mpaka mpaka wanaume wanaingia kwa construction una construct nyumba ya ngombe tena ukikuja ni kukamua the same same wana, tunafanya the both Ukikuja ni kama sairage, kweka fonda, hiyo tunafatha, tunafanya the booth. The Kenya Dairy Board has put measures that are too high for us sometimes, like the licensing. For you to be, to be in the milk industry, there are licenses that you have to acquire for you to be to be licensed to do the sales in the informal sector, of which it is the most beneficial sector. But unfortunately, the license, the cost for you licensing, it's too high, and they don't take uh, gradual or installments. Uh, so I would recommend them, maybe they lower the cost for insurance, 
and also they can offer training on the standards that they, they want us to meet. Upande wa uzaji wa maziwa kama tungewekewa sheria ya kutusimamia upande wa bei ya maziwa iwe ni kama ni standard bei ya maziwa venye huwa wanasimama wanasema kama board ya mahindi huwa inasema mahindi gunia ni shilingi elfu mbili na kila pahali unapata ni hiyo bei lakini maziwa unapata wakati ni wakati mwingine iko juu wakati mwingine iko chini sasa tunakuwa na shida sana ya yeah. kuweza kupata hiyo bei ya maziwa clearly then to enable growth in the dairy subsector which in turn will lessen the burden of unemployment there should be concerted effort from the private sector academia and government to research and develop innovative business models and enabling national policies when yasa hapo mbele miaka kadhaa tuko sitakuwa pale niko sasa hizi sitakuwa 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 ninaamini kabisa sitakuwa eh ju ro yangu nimeipenda na ukishaipenda kitu lazima uifa lazima uifanye na tahari niko mbio mimi naona tu i'm still succeeding